Major Caroline Jensen. I fly the right wing as Thunderbird number three for the United States Air Force Air Demonstration Squadron, the Thunderbirds. I knew I wanted to be a pilot since I was about five years old. I saw a TV show and I had airplanes flying around the clouds and I, I knew immediately that that's what I wanted to do. So I've accumulated over 3,000 hours in Air Force uh, aircraft, starting out with gliders and all the way now through the F-16. Um, 200 of those were in combat and I just feel really honored that I get to use my love of aviation in service of the country. One of my favorite things that we do in the Thunderbirds is right away on takeoff. We uh, have four aircraft on the runway. We light our afterburners. Burners, now, power set, nose wheels carry. Seconds later, the nose wheels off the ground, the gear are coming up, and then boss says nose is coming up, and we go right over the top uh, for a loop. Burners out, ready now. To be doing that inches away from three other airplanes is a lot of fun. One's on top, 11 a back in with the pole, a little power back. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of teamwork, and it's a great metaphor for what the Air Force does every day. When I first decided that I wanted to be a fighter pilot when I was 13 years old and I saw the Thunderbirds fly in an air show, women were not allowed to be combat pilots. And so my dad took the history of the WASP and their amazing service and as an example for me for what I could do. So from a young age, I knew of my history as a female aviator and was extremely ex inspired by their story and their service and all the different aircraft that they flew. They flew everything that we had in our inventory. and. And that was like a great motivation for me. When it was time for me to go to pilot training, I had to drive to Del Rio, Texas. And Sweetwater, Texas wasn't too far off of my route. And Sweetwater, Texas is where Adventure Field was, and that's where the WASP did their training. And they had, and I had read history books that they had a wishing while there, and that the woman would go throw in a penny before their uh, solo for good luck. So on my way to pilot training, I took a little detour through Sweetwater, Texas, and threw my penny in the wishing well. So I think it worked out pretty well for me. I recently had a chance to fly in a World War II Stearman and the gentleman who owns it and restored it went back and through the logbooks and the history records and found that that airplane had flown in Sweetwater, Texas seven years ago. And I sat there in my Thunderbird uniform 70 years after the women just like me just 70 years ago were flying that airplane learning how to fly. And that was a great moment for me. It was something really special. and and exciting. I felt really honored and I really felt their presence with me and I've felt that way a lot throughout my career. But I have my Fifanella patch with me and it's been a long time. I can't remember, uh, probably I was an instructor pilot. I've probably flown about 2,000 hours with Fifanella on my knee. So uh, I don't know, I think it's it's a great symbol. It helps me to remember all the time like where, where I came from and those ladies who are kind of like grandmothers to me and, and all the commitment and, and their service and, and to realize how lucky I am. I know a lot of them would have loved to and easily could have been where I am. And I'm just lucky that their history changed history for me so that I could be a part of combat aviation. These women were really pioneers and they had an extreme love of aviation and this vision of a military where women could be a part of it. And that's what I get to represent today now, 70 years later.